Cheap shot. Computer, shield status? Shields at 65%. Oh, just a graze. They're good, but I'm so much better. You can thank Professor Zunak for that one. Computer, divert emergency power to thrusters. Warning, thruster power at 159%. Thruster safety limit exceeded. What is the limit? 135%? 115%. Oh, little bit off then. Computer, override safeties. I skimmed the manual, she can handle it. Thruster override confirmed. She's fast, but still bulky compared to her runabout. <gasps> Computer, prepare to shift thruster power to the dorsal side. One big burn, they won't even see it coming. Not what I wanted to happen. Damn it! Plan B then. But first, I have to get back control. Computer? What's the bad news? How much power do I still have? Port impulse drive offline. Starboard impulse at 64%. Thrusters at 21%. <sighs> Maybe I pushed a little too far. But I can make this work. I can make this work. I know you can make this work. Don't be so fancy. Just get the job done. Arming torpedoes. Just remember what Captain Right Hand said. Feel the ship. Live in the moment. Two down, two to go. I've got this. Warning, ship on collision course. Collision course? Evasive- <laughs> Training simulation complete. Level four reached. Total score, 419. 419? Oh, I suck. I got handpicked to do this assignment. I've got to do better. Computer, how long until we reach Earth? Two hours. Just long enough. Ensign Anakili personal log star date 48029.8. Challenger is heading back to Earth to drop me off for my new assignment. Eight months ago, I graduated from Starfleet Academy, sixth in my class, but with the most drive to pilot a starship. They all knew it. I was born to be out there among the stars and help lead the future to new horizons. After only a few months on Challenger, I got contacted by Commander Sisko and offered a posting I couldn't refuse. Not that I think he was going to take note for an answer. He saw my record at the Academy and wants me to pilot a new ship he helped design. When I got the subspace message, my heart skipped a beat. It was beyond amazing. I barely found my footing here. And now I'm being asked to go to what could be the new front lines. A new ship, a new crew. Not the mission I signed up for, but I would be able to make a difference. Commander Sisko saw the potential in me and hey, that feels pretty good. I won't lay him down. Put me at the helm and I'll make that magic happen. Captain Talia. Ensign Keeley. We've got you back safe and sound. Thank you for the opportunity, Captain. Even in this short time, it's been an honor. Good luck with that new ship. I read the report. Sounds like a piloting nightmare. Oh, I'm sure I'll tame her, sir. I'm excited. <laughs> As you should be. Oh, and good luck with Commander Sisko. I knew him at the Academy. He's going to take a lot of risks. And they can sometimes pay off. <laughs> then we're going to get along great. Sounds like it. Safe travels, Ensign. Dismissed. Thank you, Captain. <sighs> I 
think I've got everything. Let me double check. Yep, yeah, cool. Got my toothbrush. Ready to beam you right to the Defiance transporter room. Commander Sisko's waiting for you. Commander Sisko's waiting for me? Oh, I guess I'm jumping into the deep end. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Wait, no, I'm not ready. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. <sighs> Energize. It was a while until we actually arrived at Deep Space Nine, but when we did, Commander Sisko certainly made an impression. He left an impression on everyone, but not as much as my time on the Defiant would leave on me. For better, and worse. 